How are you at goodbyes? I've had to say a lot of goodbyes lately, and they're tough. Goodbyes can be emotional, you know, flooding you with memories. They can even be celebrations of accomplishing something great. Or they can be, as you probably know, sad. Now imagine being there when Jesus told his disciples, now guys that he picked to spend three years with, imagine being there as he told them goodbye. Well, at least sort of. Hello world, my name is David Dorn, and this is the last episode of Preposterous, at least in its current form. Now we've tried to not be your typical Bible study, and to that I think we have succeeded. We started this Bible study based on the preposterous things Jesus said, and we will end with his preposterous goodbye. So let's cue the motion one last time as we look at Matthew 28, 16 through 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Jesus came near and spoke to them, I have received all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. Look, I myself will be with you every day until the end of this present age. So this verse takes place after Jesus' death and resurrection. Uh, we did an entire arc of videos surrounding that for Easter that you should probably go back and watch. Now the verses in this episode take place directly following the resurrection. With that in mind, imagine the flood of emotions the disciples were having. They just witnessed the death of their friend. He came back, and the other Gospels tell us that he was around for 40 days. And then this happens. Jesus calls the eleven to a small mountain overlooking the Sea of Galilee. And there were only eleven because Judas, being so wrought with guilt after betraying Jesus, immediately went out and hung himself. So the disciples show up, and so does Jesus. The Bible says some worshipped him, and some doubted. Now can I point out that these men, having seen Jesus on and off for the last forty days, saw him do miracle after miracle, and yet some still doubted. Are you one who struggles with doubts about Jesus? Now I've talked with many of you and I know this is something that many of you deal with. You're concerned about your doubts, but I'm not, because I think that they are natural. The disciples were looking at Jesus eye to eye and some still doubted this whole thing. If you doubt, be honest about it. Jesus speaks into our stress if we're honest that we need. Now, do you remember back in episode one of this series, we talked about how Satan tempted Jesus. He offered Jesus power and authority on this world if Jesus would just bow down to him. This was a serious temptation for Jesus because it meant he didn't have to uh, uh, go to the cross to die to accomplish the mission he was sent to earth to, to fulfill. Fortunately for us, Jesus said no. And here he's claiming the victory when he says, I've received all authority on heaven and on earth. You see, Jesus beats Satan, and that's a victory that has ramifications both then, now, and in the future. The key here, though, is he won. Then Jesus tells his disciples goodbye. Oh, well, sort of. The disciples, I'm sure, were horribly confused at what was going on at this point. Now, Jesus' final words for them was his last charge for them. Not an electrical charge, but like, I charge you to go out and be awesome. Jesus charged them to go out and do what he had taught them. This is called the Great Commission. He commissioned them to go out and make disciples and baptize people in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Great Commission is one sentence, yet we could spend days talking about the impact of it. Go make disciples. Well, that means more than just leading people to Jesus. Becoming a disciple is learning to do what Jesus did. And your job is to make more disciples. Yes, I mean you. You see, I've taught you everything Jesus has taught me. It's now your turn to pass it on. You may have thought there were no consequences to following Jesus, but you were wrong. Pass on the gift that has been given to you. Teach people what you've been taught 
It's preposterous, I know, but it's in those preposterous words of Jesus that we find life, love, and salvation. Jesus also says, baptize folks in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That would be the Trinity. This is the way God is. He's above us. He became one of us, and He is with us all at the same time and for all time. Now, some people debate whether you baptize babies or just new believers. I believe in both. But the point Jesus is making with baptism is that it's your welcome into the family of God. Have you ever been officially welcomed? Now, I'm not very good with clients. They're always awkward. I, I just never know exactly what to say or how to say it. But I think Jesus nails it here. He says, And lo, I am with you always, even into the end of the age. It's a sort of goodbye. I mean, he left. Now, the manner in which he left, you know, what happened to his body when he left, he ascended into heaven, but where uh, is heaven? I, I don't know the answers to those questions, but that was his goodbye to the men who devoted their lives to him and who would go on to give their lives for their faith. But he didn't really go anywhere. You see, Jesus is always with us. Though we don't see him, he is here. Jesus says in Matthew 18, 20, for where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there with them. And in John 20, 29, he says, Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Though he slipped the surly bonds of earth, he is ever present with you, even now. Speaking of now, now it's your time. Are you willing to pass on what's been taught to you? Are you willing to be the example, despite your own doubts, of what it means to follow Jesus? If you are, your time is at hand. It's your turn to I want to thank you all for watching, for commenting, for sending in videos and tweets. I have loved doing this show. <laughs> in fact, it's changed my life. I hope it has changed yours. My prayer is that I will see you all again soon. God bless. The end of the book of Matthew.